Well, good day, everybody. Steve and Kaz. Hi. There she is. From our Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. We're heading off for a couple of days camping. We don't know where we're going particularly, other than we're heading up the Thunderbolts Way for a look at that bit of road. I don't expect any major four wheel driving or even a lot of dirt. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. We're going up that way. We've got two nights off. So, why not? Forecast the weather should be okay. So, we're hoping everything's fine. We're in the swag this weekend. And just in case the weather turns crappy, we've got a gazebo tied up on the roof so we can put that over the swag. So, we'll see how we go with that. Still haven't done anything of our tent after the uh, failure at Kosciuszko, so we'll figure that one out down the track. Anyway, we're uh, on the road. We'll take Rugged north to the beautiful south to the centre. East, west, doesn't matter where. The four wheel drive tips and tricks and travel and information, you have come to the right place. Come for a ride with us at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Tour. And I have never driven along this road. If we have, we've only driven bits of it. So, this weekend's about exploring and finding what's up here. As we don't know, let's drive along up here. Off the Thunderbolts Way is the sign to Bretty Eye Reserve or Bretty Reserve, Bret Eye Reserve. It's a reserve. Obviously, there's plenty of camping down here because there's plenty of campers down here.
right, we've arrived at Bretty or Brett Eye Campground. There's a few people around. This will have to do us for tonight. Kaz is about to set up camp. Oh, of course, we'll do Brett Eye Campground as a separate clip. But it's quite big. Very big. So we've just claimed this bit. Now guys, if you come here, be prepared to handle the smell of cow manure. But you know, after that, you know, we're in the country, it's a nice little area, so what the hell. Anyway, I'll help Kay set up camp and we'll see you when we're done. Now while I was setting up camp, I thought I'd show you this. Now I know a lot of you guys have got patches and stickers and things, but Kaz isn't a great fan of stickers everywhere on the outside of the car. So what I've done is on our tailgate table I've got here is my sticker board. Start with mine of course, then Grant, some places we've been, Shad, Tyler, Paul Gutton from Perth 4 before, that bloke is a dead set legend. Respect the bush of course. Buck, who doesn't know Buck, drifter. Caspian Custom Fab, which you would have seen working on my car periodically. In deflate, my mechanic, stuff like that. That's gonna be where I stick stickers until I run out of room. Also do stick them on my food boxes. That way, I can still have me trophies and not annoy the hell out of Kaz because, yeah, it's important I don't annoy her, it's her car. And of course, for the rest of the time, we don't want to see them, that's when I flick the table down and they're gone. So I just thought I'd show you that. Just in case you're interested. If you're not interested, Sorry, I've just wasted a minute and 25 seconds of your time. There she is. All right, I'll just go for a quick walk around camp. I'll build a fire later. I want to, I haven't got a lot of wood, so I'll wait until sort of we really need to. This is camp for the night. The swag, the 200, the awning. Now, the 30 second wing awning does not need its poles, it'll stand up on its own, but I like to put poles out and peg it if I'm staying somewhere overnight because I don't know if the wind's going to come up while I'm asleep so I peg it out anyway so not a requirement it'll stand up to a reasonable amount of wind but we like to peg it anyway so that's basically camp for the evening That's basically camp for the evening, and we will light a fire and cook some food and stuff a little bit later. For the time being, we're just going to sit back, have a bit of a drink, and relax. Just like that. <laughs> How relaxed is she looking? Good like this. 
Oh, oh dear. No close-ups. Are you, are you relaxed? <laughs> Definitely. She looks relaxed. <laughs> Definitely. All right. That's it for now. Settle in the camp. Kaz is making sure she doesn't get cold. She got the jumper on already. I've been cutting fine wood, so I'm not dressed like that just yet. Well, that's it for us today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. It's a bit foggy. That can happen. Well, doesn't that look nice? Very pretty. Well, good morning. We've woken up to a cool. It was foggy earlier but the fog is clearing so literally 10 minutes ago the camp was shrouded in mist and fog but now it's almost gone so that's what camp looks like this morning so, we're here for a little while while the sun comes out and dries the swag Pleasant evening last night, sitting around the fire. It looks like it's going to be a nice clear day. So we'll be having some brekkie shortly. And then after breakfast, casual pack up of camp and we'll head out to uh, explore the Thunderbolts Way a bit more. A messy bugger. Jeez, dude. Quick. Alrighty, we've packed up camp, so now, as always, let's do a walk. Make sure nothing's left behind. Only thing I've left behind is a bit of sawdust from cutting up some timber. Truck's running. Done me under bonnet checks already that you guys will have seen me do before. So it's literally just a walk around the camp, make sure everything's where it should be. Yes, I know there's a camera on the ground, guys, don't panic. 
and everything is all good. So we're going to continue. I'll just get back into the sun so you guys look at me. We're going to continue on our Thunderbolts Way excursion. We're leaving here, Brett I, and we're heading off. And we don't know where we're going to wind up. So we'll take you with us. We'll see you there. That sign is behind me. We've just come up there. But I just pulled up just past the sign to give you a look at this. And now it's not Kaz's cool long hair and all that kind of stuff. Just the view out over this valley. Now I know the GoPro probably doesn't chart up well, but I'll probably get some other footage zoomed in off another camera. But that is a pretty damn good view, I reckon. We're at just over 500 meters here. A bit higher to go. But just a nice little spot on the Thunderbolts way. Now, I was about to go off and think, look, somebody's dumped all this rubbish. We're at the top of that incline, and people have left water. So if you've got a hot coming up the hill, towing or whatever, they've left you water. What a great thing. There, I always think it was rubbish. That's awesome. It is a steep hill, and if you're towing, You'd know it. We've pulled up at a lookout, which I'll give you a look at in a minute. Here on the notice board, there's a whole bunch of signs to tell motorbike riders what to do. We passed a bike rider who'd come off yesterday. So it's a twisty road, it's a good road for bike riders to ride. But just bear in mind, if you are on a bike, be a bit safe. This is the views from the lookout. And uh, unfortunately, passing traffic is just one of those things. It's a road. That is pretty well a walk from one end of the other. Then we get back into some bushy stuff so it's not as easy to see. It is a popular spot. So 
lots of people to meet up with here. Which makes sense. And there's a sign coming up here which will hopefully give us some details. That tells us about the area. Kaz has probably taken some stills of this, so we'll check it out. The lookout is Carson's Pioneer Lookout. So I'll tag the GPS of this, so if you guys are in the area, come and have a look. Well, we didn't film a lot more of the road. In fact, we didn't film any more of the road because it's just another twisty road, guys. You've seen lots of those. So I thought I'd throw up a few stills that uh, Kaz shot from around the areas. Hope you find them uh, nice to look at. We are, as I said, very close to the end of the clip. So uh, we will no doubt catch up with you back there in just a second. Hope you're enjoying these pics, guys. in Walker where we had a nice lunch. Here she is. Definitely. It was uh, lovely lunch. Yeah, made uh, smash burgers. Very similar to what Pete from Western Australian Camping Adventures does, but not quite as good as his. <laughs> a long way to catch you, old son. Anyway, we're in uh, in Walker. We've had the little pull up of this park and we decided we're going to end the trip here. So if you get a chance to come to Walker, now the Walker is known for sculptures and things, so it's a good little country town. Well, I'm going to see how to read what's written on this thing. Uh, here we are. Ah, oh, yes, the John Oxley Surveyor General on his journey of exploration to the coast camps of Pro camped approximately one mile southeast of here. We would have driven past that. But there's lots of sculptures. Now we had our little feed at that table there and parked the cruiser down here, but the town has got sculptures everywhere, but we're not going to explore all of them. That might be another thing for another day. But just to give you an idea, they've got a horse and cart thing here that I'm sure, pretty sure you can sit on and use as a table. And down here it looks like something that's significant indigenous meaning. So I'll have a quick look at that. Uh, some of our mission jets, maybe they had something to do with it. It's got all the indigenous type stuff on it, handprints, crocodile paintings, kangaroos, eagles. So it's obviously quite significant. And the little camping area or park, sorry, picnic area is on overlooking that little river there. It's literally at the edge of town so it's not a bad little area uh, if you get a chance to come to walker have a look now, i know this trip isn't about forward driving it's just about touring i'll get her on the camera one way or another <laughs> not everything touring is forward driving guys but yeah you know, it's still nice to have a four-wheel drive. Where we went and camped, it was certainly better to drive down there in a four-wheel than a road car. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're new here, what should they do? Hit the subscribe button. And? And the little tiny bell. Click the notification bell. You'll know when a new video goes up. And to the old hands, thanks again for taking the time out of your day to watch our silliness, seriously guys. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this clip guys. A little bit different to usual, but um, we kind of liked it. We got a fair hour, or fair long drive home. Do you think I'd learn to speak English? Anyway, we got a long drive to go home now, so we'll see you guys in the next one. All the best. 
Cheers from Steve and me, Kaz, from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring. Have a good one, guys. See ya. See ya. Sculptures. They bring out the arty farty in me. Sculptures. I know you mean silly. <laughs> subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click the notify bell. The notify bell. <laughs> I'll do that one again. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Alright, if... hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, what do you do, Kaz? <laughs> You click uh, the subscribe button and then... She's hopeless. <laughs>